Hi, I'm Brian Lane, Senior Product Manager for Imaging Software at Schneider Electric. And what I'm going to go through in this particular video is how to set up and calibrate analytics. In this particular one, we're going to use a uh, Cerex thermal camera. Um, and right now we're in the live um, view on the web GUI. We're going to click on Settings. And from Settings, we want to go to the Event tab. Under the events uh, pull down, we select analytic configuration. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to select a profile on the analytics page. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now, you want to choose a friendly name for the profile because when you have an event stream pop up, it's going to actually say where the analytic came from. So in this particular case, we're going to say um, front door. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Calibrate Scene. When you click on that button, what it's going to show you, it's going to show you three bounding boxes. One of them is object at near left, near right, and an object at a distance. And the idea here is to try to choose an object that you're, you're going to be detecting. So for an example, if you're going to be detecting people, it's best to use a person for this particular uh, calibration exercise. So I'm going to take this bounding box here where it says object at near left and I'm going to put that around the person that's here and I'm going to draw it to fit their size. Okay. And down here for set height, I want to have I want to tell the the algorithm the real world height of the object used in the above calibration. So if the person is 5 foot 8, for example, you would type in 5 foot 8 right here. So what you're going to do is have the person move to the next point and then you're going to draw the bounding box around them at that particular point. Okay. Once again, objects at 5 foot 8. Now the object is at a distance. This is for the algorithm for the analytics. Realize that when, a, when an object is at a distance, it's going to look a lot smaller. This gives perspective to the analytic. So once the person gets into their position that you've, you've preset for the calibration, you're going to go and draw the bounding box around that person. Now, of course, the box is a lot smaller now, but the person's still 5 foot 8. So after you've calibrated set height, you want to do the set width part. So come down here and click on set width. You'll see you know, two lines here, one that says width of near object and one that says width of far object. So in this particular um, situation, I do have a walkway that is the same width all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to stretch it across the back part of this walkway. I'm going to do the same thing with the width of the near object line. I'm going to put this in on the front part of the walkway. So what you what the, what this is doing right now is that it is telling the algorithm that that the width of this exact same object, of course, is bigger here than it is down here to show perspective. Okay. Well, once you've done that, you've calibrated the scene. And what you do after that is you hit return to the main view and you save. Make sure you save. Okay. Make sure your profile also is running. So you hit run. Okay. Now your profile is all set up and your camera has been calibrated for analytics. Thank you. 